students uh, welcome back so before going to know about the minimum mode of 8086 microprocessor and the maximum mode of 8086 microprocessor now let us see the difference between minimum and maximum mode so if you know the difference between those two then you will understand what is the minimum mode of 8086 and what is the maximum mode of 8086 so now let's the first point so in minimum mode uh, there are, there can be only one processor. So this you have to be remember that only one processor 8086 microprocessor is available. So 8086 microprocessor is a 40 pin uh, uh, deep dual in package. So this 40 pin only one processor is available in minimum mode. Whereas in maximum mode there can be multiple processors multiple processors like 8087 8089 so what is this multiple processor already one processor is available 8086 so it's doing all the operations like uh, arithmetic uh, calculations and it is uh, operate it's just like part of the computer means it's just uh, doing everything in the processor then why we are going for multiple processor let's see so the maximum mode is having more than one processor means the 8086 is the main processor in the system okay and these are the different processor 8086 8088 you call it as a co-processors co-processors why i'm calling it as a co-processor because so whenever there is a lot of burden for this processor we can attach some uh, different processor which perform the particular functions so here whatever 8087 will only do the numeric operations so this processor will help when you want to do the numeric operation whereas 8089 is do only io operations so whenever the io operations wants to do the uh, processor this processor hand over the system bus to this processor okay and it does that the remaining work, work whatever it has to be do and whenever the user request uh, parallelly the io input output devices this processor will become active okay this already the main processor will do other work so whenever the multiple works are there multiple works wants to do the processor okay so it becomes very uh, burden to the 8086 microprocessor to handle all the works at a time so that it divides the work to, means it's handovering the system bus to different processors to do the operations like data transferring like the uh, dma uh, direct memory access so this 8086 processor will hand over the system bus to the data uh, direct memory access and this direct memory access will directly transfer the data from input output devices to memory and memory to input output devices so without cpu involvement so this processor will work, perform the operations without the cpu involvement that you call it as a multi processor so this 8086 whenever it is operating in maximum mode so it can handle more than one processor okay those processor are connected to 8086 the main processor so when this minimum mode is active whenever when mn by mx bar is one to indicate a minimum mode so one by one bar means it indicates zero so the, it represents one by zero means minimum mode this will becomes active mn by x bar is 0 maximum mode is active so 0 by 0 bar means 1 so whenever 0 by 1 is there maximum mode is active 1 by 0 means minimum mode will becomes active address latch enable so ale for the latch is given by 8086 as it is the only processor in the circuit so actually 8086 is a microprocessor whatever the address latch enable for the latch is given by only this 8086 microprocessor uh, because there are no other processor to uh, make the address latch enable active only the 8086 processor will make that active it is the only processor in the circuit whereas in maximum mode ALA for the latch is given by 8288 which is a bus controller so you have to be note that 8288 is one processor uh, the processor work is to is bus controller it controls the system bus 
So here 8288 will give the address latch enable as there can be multiple processor in the circuit. Because there are multiple processor in the circuit, each processor is performing their own operations like input output, direct memory access, numeric operations like that. So this address latch enable signal will be generated by the bus controller that is a 8255. So whereas in minimum mode, only the 8086 will control all the address latch enable everything but here the another bus controller but another processor will be connected to the 8086 microprocessor to control the address latch enable uh, so to which processor it has to send the bus so that will be indicated by this 8288 and den by dt bar data enable and data transmitter or receiver for trans receivers are given by 8086 itself so whatever the operation data enable whether it has to be do data enable or whether it has to do data transmission or the receiver means to read the data or to write the data everything uh, will be done in minimum mode by 8086 microprocessor whereas in a uh, maximum mode uh, dt by r bar this is a transmitter or the receiver will be uh, choose by the bus controller 8288 so instead of 8086 microprocessor here the bus controller will uh, given the signals whether to read the data or to write the data and this fifth point in the minimum mode direct control signals m by io bar read write or given by 8086 so everything the control signals directly uh, whether it has to memory operations or io operations read operations or write operations everything will be given by the 8086 microprocessor so instead of control signals, each processor generates data signals call. So here it generates the control signals. But here in maximum mode, the processor, each processor generates status signals according to the status of the uh, processor, which processor is operating. According to the status of the operation, it generates the signals. And coming to next, uh, in minimum mode, control signals all this M by IO bar read and write or decoded by 3 is to 8 decoder like 74139. Whereas status signals here, S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 are decoded by the bus controller like 8255 to produce control signals. So these status signals will uh, decode by the bus controller uh, for the producing of control signals. INTA bar interrupt uh, acknowledgement is given by 8086 in response to an interrupt on INTR line. So whenever the interrupt request is uh, uh, given by the external devices, so the interrupt acknowledgement means the processor is ready to take the interrupt request that will be given by 8086 itself. So whenever the request is coming from external devices, the processor itself is perform uh, respond to interrupt acknowledge. Whereas here, INT bar is given by the bus controller. So here the bus controller will give the interrupt acknowledgement in response to interrupt request line. So whenever the request is uh, coming from the external devices, instead of uh, microprocessor is responding, here the bus controller will give the interrupt acknowledgement to the external devices in maximum mode. Because here everything the processor will not involve. Uh, whereas in minimum mode, whatever the operation it has to be performed, the processor has to involve. But in maximum mode, multiple processor are there. So uh, instead of uh, uh, every time disturbing the processor rather than disturbing the processor, we are just interacting with the other processors like bus controllers or like a input output processor like DMA, everything. The other processor we are interrupting. Hold, hold acknowledgement signals are used for bus request with the DMA controller like 8237. So in minimum mode, this hold and hold acknowledgement signals will request by the DMA controller. So here the request and the grant lines are used by bus request by the processor like 8087 or 8089. So you can connect the external processor. Instead of connecting the DMA controller, here you can connect the external processors to request or grant the bus signals. So instead of hold and hold acknowledgement, here we use the request and the grant signal. So in minimum mode, the circuit becomes simpler, whereas in maximum mode, the circuit is more complex. Why it is more complex? Because we are adding so many um, processor to control the operations. So that's why it's maximum mode configuration is more complex when compared to minimum mode. And here the performance is slower in minimum mode because everything is uh, 8086 has to be performed. 
so all the operations that 8086 microprocessor has to be performed that's why the performance becomes lower whereas in maximum mode the performance is very high because different uh, devices are helping the processor to maintain the data and to transfer the data or to write the data every operations will be managed by the different processor so that's why the performance is very high in maximum mode so this is about the difference between the minimum mode and the maximum mode thank you